Good morning, folks. Yesterday we saw the beginning of this filament's dive down to the surface, but the end flipped the script and it bulged back out and distended, just as the SDO satellite went through a bit of turbulent image taking during a likely flip event to cool the sunlit side. It's apparent that the sun was active during the event, but it appears to mostly be surface surging and non-Earth directed CMEs. This one that ripped after the turbulence ended shows how violent but benign the surface surges were. Tons of filaments still on the south, big coronal hole coming in as well, but we'll get to that. Let's jump to spaceweathernews.com to find solar flaring unable to match the activity of the filaments in coronal plasma. All of the Earth-facing sunspots on the disk are beta class but with spread magnetism that is not interacting very well. However, the real test of the Earth-facing solar quiet has just crested the limb. Round one to Earth as it has gone silent for now, but its gamma and delta magnetism means we can't stop watching. Solar wind is calming further. Earth's magnetic field, very calm at this time. Southern negative corona hold departing and shrinking while the positive north swings in. You can see the dark patches coming left to right, including on the equator. Another day until the quake watch rises once more from that one, and we're monitoring for fluctuations indicative of field variation at this patch on the solar wind speed charts here. While we wait for the quake watch to jump up, the largest of the day hit the West Pacific, but it was only the third most significant behind a very rare five-pointer here, and one above average in the Aleutian Islands. Top news today starts with the moon. Amino acids in the soil are now, decades later, having their genesis re-examined. They give four guesses, and my favorite is obviously number three, an indirect nod to the star water hypothesis of water formation via this exact same mechanism. FYI, I assume all website members have watched Star Water, but if you have not, it needs to be your next premium content that you check out. Next up, the ESO dominates the visuals for more than 600 new star candidates creating a previously unknown component of the inner clusters of the Milky Way galaxy. The videos and articles linked for you below, and I think that you're going to find the brightening and fading over very short time periods to be quite interesting. Next, we're over at NOAA's Environmental Visualization Lab showing the Midwest before and after harvest. Amazing way to think about the land color. Last article is from the Earth Observatory showing El Nino's effect on the chlorophyll in the East Pacific. Not as long and extended, but it is thicker and denser. Southeastern Middle East is on major alert for a cyclone that spawned in the northern Indian Ocean. It is heading right in. Surfers, take note, big wave season in Hawaii is starting. 25 to 30 foot waves are expected in the coming days to weeks. Folks who bought the book and apparently needed to finish it in one day, thank you for your kind words. I really tried to throw everything I had at this book, say it as quickly and simply as you needed to understand it, and leave the filler and bullcrap at the door. It's only available in digital form right now, but a hard copy should be coming in a couple weeks. Thank you everyone for the support. Watch the precipitation stick to the low pressure in our top viewer locations, followed by current global conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.